morning. So I am back in up in uh, Anchorage, Anchorage area at least, and uh, we're out filming moose this morning. Got this huge bull in front of me just feeding in this clearing in this valley, river valley. You can probably hear the river flowing uh, behind the moose, if you behind the ear camera. Beautiful day, a little bit maybe too sunny for photography and filming, but right now we're in the shadow of the mountain behind me, so ideal. Um, Welcome back to Alaska. If you have not uh, been following along, then make sure you check out the playlist, uh, Alaskan playlist, to uh, follow my adventure since leaving the cabin over a week ago, or about a week ago. I'm totally losing track of time, not only because I'm spending a couple weeks out here, but also because the days, I have the four hour time change, and then we've got the days that um, are long. Um, sun sets late, sun rises early, and it doesn't really get dark at night. So I'm still adjusting to that, tired as you can see by my eyes, but having a blast. Um, just got back from Dick Prennicke's cabin last night, back to Anchorage. So uh, if you're interested in seeing that, my time up in Twin Lakes and uh, Lake Clark National Park, then uh, please check out the early episodes in this playlist. And uh, yeah, just keep following along. It's just the beginning of the day today and got a lot on our plate, uh, a lot of filming and photography and, and exploring to do so please stick around and enjoy I'll see you in a little bit I'm gonna go back to filming this bowl and a couple others in the valley here and also a uh, cow and some cows or probably more than one well I saw three cows already so cows and cows like that so let's check it out before I get to the other main one I'll take it over So uh, 4.30 or 5 o'clock on, I don't even know what day, Thursday, because I just uploaded a video for tomorrow morning. We're heading into town, go to a store and some, get something to eat. Long days are catching up too, I think all of us, especially myself, I know. This after 5.30, which sounded like a great idea last night. <laughs> Tired. <laughs> Mark's a little bit more spry than I am this morning. Uh, we're going to head out. It looks like an overcast morning so far, unless it's just behind the mountain still. But could be good lighting and maybe a little bit cooler up in the hills. So let's go for a ride. That's that might be the guy behind us. No, way beyond. Look at the edge of the. Not the edge, but. Near one of the last pockets is light green. Morning's getting on here. We've been sitting, waiting. Well, had some challenging shooting conditions today, actually. The moose have been a little bit more skittish than normal. So we haven't been able to get in decent range to get any good footage. I think mainly because there was a couple of cows that were flighty for some reason. And once they started trotting around, the bulls started trotting around with them, or were in the same vicinity, but they were a little nervous. There was one bedded nearby that were, we watched him walk over here and lie down. He's been here for a couple of hours at least now. We've been watching him, waiting for him to stand up. Don't want to push him, let him get up on his own time, but unfortunately, it's starting to heat up too. Eventually, he'll get up and move, but for how long? Who knows? And whenever, how long do we have to wait until that point? So, we'll stick it out for a little while, see what happens, and then have to make a decision whether 
there's uh, better things that we should be focusing on and leave this guy to relax out here in the sunshine. Thank you.